I'm thirsty. Huh? Oh yeah. Ah! Dude, you, did did you just crush through my wall? What? Wait, I I wasn't that thirsty. You that's gotta be ruining the structural integrity of something. Doctor, I can't feel my legs. I can't. Wait, wait a second. Do I even have any legs? Uh, nope. Am I gonna be okay? Not really, unless we got a cloning. Cloning? That's right. I said cloning. Doctor, what exactly is cloning? Well, you know, I'll show you. I will put you in the hollow projector room. The hollow projector room? Yeah, you can almost experience the past for real. Cool. To the hollow projector room! Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> oh! Oh, crap. I, yeah, I don't have any legs. Uh, uh, yeah. Doctor! What is it now? I, I, don't, I don't have any legs. Now, what? You got me all excited. <clears throat> Hold on. For around 2,175 years, simple methods of cloning, such as grafting and stem cutting, have been used on plants. Oh, 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 holy crap! Dude, what was that voice? That was Arnold. Wait, you guys got the rights to Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice? I mean, I mean, it was, uh, 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 George. It was George! Oh. I, uh, I'm sorry about your vocal cords. <laughs> Doctor, what's grafting? Computer, what is grafting? Computer? The process of grafting the branch from one tree onto another tree. The host tree and the branch grow together. And the host tree supports the branch. It is even possible to have an orange branch growing on a lemon tree. They came from behind the run. Oh, crap. I think the, um, I think the computer box fell. Hey, let me put that back up there. Wait, how did we get here? We teleported. Oh, that explains a lot. The modern era of laboratory cloning began in 1958, when the English-American plant physiologist Frederick C. Stewart cloned current plants for mature single cells, based in a nutrient culture containing hormones, chemicals that play various significant roles in the body. Ah, I mean... <laughs> Who is that? Don't worry, son. This is only computer simulation. We can see them, but they cannot see us. Like the Ghost of Christmas Past? Exactly. I mean, no, no. Nothing, no. No. We're not copying the... Hey, Doc, what are you getting, What are they doing with all these carrots? What, a carrot? Moving on its own? There must be a ghost in here. You ruined it. Now I have to get to the next one. Early 1984, scientists in both Switzerland and the United States successfully cloned mice using a method similar to that of Gordon's. However, the Swiss and American methods required one extra step. And no, it was not cheese! After the nuclear was taken from the embryos of one type of mouse, they were transferred into the embryos of another type of mouse. The second type of mouse served as a surrogate substitute mother that went into the birthing process to create the cloned mice. Yeah, this one's kind of boring. I just thought you'd like to know. <laughs> what was that? That was Dolly, the first aggressively cloned adult. Oh, I wanted to pet it. That's why I got out of there so quickly. I know you have a strange obsession with farm animals. animals. No, that just sounds sick. It is sick. A uh, horse. What does a horse have to do with cloning? What? You haven't heard of the clone of the brother of the world's second fastest racing mule? Um, the, well, seems pretty fast. Where are we? Well, we're in the space-time continuum. Anyway, I thought we just had enough time to visit clone. What's clone head? Yeah, it's like.
Kool Aid. Kool Aid. No. Oh yeah. Oh no. So anyway, I didn't catch your name. Uh, it's Doctor Blue Glowless. Doctor Who? Yes. 